Howdy guys, in today's video we're going to be going over how and why to adjust the ISO settings on your Sony a6000. So let's just get right into it. So adjusting the ISO is pretty easy, you're just going to go to the back here, hit this button, the right side of the dial, and that's it. So what exactly is ISO? So to put it in its most simplest form, ISO is essentially the brightness of an image, kinda. So a low ISO value means you'll get less light into the camera, however you'll get a cleaner image. Now, high ISO means you'll get more light into the camera, but you'll introduce a lot of what is called digital noise. And digital noise is sort of like, if you've ever taken a picture like with your phone at night, you'll notice that the image is just a little bit like grainy and nasty looking. That's digital noise though. So the higher ISO you have, the more noise you have. So if you've been using the A6000 for a bit, you know it can push about, I'd say 5,000 ISO before images start to get pretty noisy. You push it up to 10,000 and they start to look pretty bad. So how exactly do we, do we avoid, you know, having to push up our ISO? I would say, obviously, shoot in good lighting if you can. Like right now, I'm shooting outside, it's about midday. Uh, I'm shooting this at 100 ISO. Fantastic. Uh, if you're shooting at night or perhaps inside, you're going to have to push up your ISO quite a bit. However, I would suggest, if you can, using a tripod before you resort to pushing up your ISO too high. Now, if you don't want to use a tripod, I hate tripods myself. I do think they're inconvenient. Usually I just push up my ISO. But if you don't want to use a tripod or can't use a tripod, try to adjust your shutter speed and aperture to you know, get the brightness that you need. Otherwise, use ISO as a last resort. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's the only things you need to know about ISO. It's pretty simplistic in concept. Uh, if you want to know more about your Sony a6000, check out the channel, and I'll link to it up here somewhere. I have an entire series of guides that cover pretty much everything you'd ever need to know about this camera. So yeah, go check it out. And if you guys like this video, feel free to like it. And if you loved it, you know, subscribe. Thank you so much and have a great day.